friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I'm on Weight Watchers and I count both calories and macros. Happy Saturday, it is Saturday. Boy, is it a massive grocery haul day. I went to three stores. I'm so excited, I got to go to Trader Joe's. I found so many great holiday finds. Sam's Club, Walmart, tons of new food finds. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell's turned on because we do a grocery haul every Saturday and I do upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box for nutrition coaching where I can do your personalized macros and calories. That's how I've lost over 130 pounds and I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We have a lot going on to round out this year and move into the new year, and we'd love to have you join us over there. So we've got a grocery haul. We've got a grocery haul, so let's jump in. We have a massive haul, and when I say massive, I mean massive. I went to Sam's Club, Trader Joe's. I was so excited for all the new stuff at Trader Joe's and to Walmart. This isn't even everything. We don't have the case of water or the case of Diet Coke in the house, but let's jump in to the massive haul. I picked up a case of the Fairlife chocolate protein shakes. These are actually one of my favorites, especially for protein powder. These are 10 out of 10, but I was really excited to spot the Premier Protein Winter Mint. This is my all-time favorite protein shake. It is chocolatey, it is minty, and again, I can't wait to make protein pudding with it, but it's one that I really love in my protein coffee every morning, so I definitely stocked up on my protein shakes. We also needed Tide Pods. This is what we use for our laundry. This was on sale for $21. There's four bags, which is a great, great deal. I also grabbed a big pack of these half-size aluminum pans. We use these when we barbecue out on our Blackstone to bring the food in, we store the food in there. And then with the holidays coming up as well, we're gonna be making a ham for Thanksgiving. So I thought I could use one of these disposable pans to cook the ham, and then we can put all the leftovers in one as well for storage. I also grabbed some more laundry scent boosts, and this time I grabbed the Gain ones. I was really excited to see these. I've actually never seen these at Costco. I also picked up some mouthwash because it was on sale for $10. We have quite a bit on hand, but it doesn't go bad and it's something we use every single day. I was really excited to see these. These are from the brand Nature's Garden and one is a ranch flavor and one is a Baja flavor. They're little tiny snack packs and they have little chips in them, nuts in them. They're only 120 calories a piece, which I thought was really great. Apparently the Baja ones are kind of a taco flavor and it's an 18 pack of individual servings, which I very much appreciate. And it was $10, I think $9.98. So I'm excited to try those. And then I grabbed some more heartburn medicine for Troy. This was also on sale at Sam's Club for $10. We're out of tuna fish and I've really been enjoying tuna. It's such a great protein packed meal. Super easy to make, have on hand. I love it in celery. I like to make sandwiches out of it. I like to eat it with crackers. And like I said, it's just a really great way to get in lots of protein. I also picked up mini cucumbers. As soon as I saw these, I immediately grabbed them and put them in my cart because you guys know how much I love them. And since I didn't go to Sprouts this week, I was a little bummed out. I might not have cucumbers. And then I found them at Sam's Club for $3.29. I also picked up a huge bag of avocados. This was only $3.50 for five avocados. And these are really big ones. So I thought that was also an excellent deal. I did grab a boneless spiral brown sugar glazed ham for Thanksgiving. We are doing ham, not turkey. I believe already pre-cooked, so it'll be really easy just to warm it up, add the glaze, and have ham for dinner. I grabbed some more Baby Bell cheeses. I was a little bummed out that they didn't have the multi-pack that I got last time that had the mozzarella, the sharp cheddar, and these regular ones. They only had this one, so I grabbed it. Baby Bell cheese is some of my all-time favorite. I also got some fruit, so blackberries, this huge pack of blackberries, 
$2.78. And then this huge flat of blueberries, $3.50. I mean, you can't pass that up. I actually was going to get strawberries, but they were $7. So I don't understand the price difference, but I decided to go with blackberries and blueberries. I also picked up some sliced sharp cheddar cheese. We like to have this for burgers and sandwiches. We always just like to have sliced cheese on hand. Troy was out of tortillas, so I grabbed the two huge pack of the burrito sized tortillas from the brand Guerrero. And then we go through a lot of Parmesan cheese. I mean, a lot. So I decided to pick up this big tub, $10. I was paying $3, $3.50, $4 for a little tub at Walmart. So I thought Parmesan cheese lasts forever. We go through a lot of it. So I just grabbed the big tub. And again, not shown from Sam's Club is a case of water and a case of Diet Coke. I grabbed a bag of frozen peas. This is actually for a dinner recipe this next week. We needed some more light butter. I, Troy said we had about a quarter of a tub. This is what he uses for butter. I always use light butter when I bake. I typically use regular butter if I'm going to have toast or put butter on something, but for baking, I typically will use light butter. We also were out of saltine crackers. Troy's been on a soup kick, so he wanted some more saltine crackers. I grabbed some whipped chive Philadelphia cream cheese. I saw on my Facebook group. Someone made avocado toast with cream cheese. So I'm here for that. We're going to try that in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. I was afraid that they would sell out at Walmart and I didn't want to miss out. So all of this is shelf stable. will be able to just stay in my pantry until I bake. I will actually be doing a lot of baking this year because I have several get togethers between boot camp and my in-laws and I wanted to bring goodies for my neighbor. So I'm going to make my sugar cookies and for those I need frosting. So I grabbed the container of the vanilla also because it had the fun little sprinkles on top and I need to up my sprinkle game this year. And then I found these cute little Hershey's white chocolate chips that are shaped like stockings and Christmas trees. I'm going to use these to decorate my sugar cookies. And then, and then of course I had to grab the Grinch Hershey's Kisses. I mean, these are the cutest thing I've ever seen. I'm going to just set these out for the holidays. I also picked up two other sprinkle mixes. These are only $3, so I thought that was a great deal. This one has lots of different shaped sprinkles in there. And then I thought that these were absolutely adorable. I mean, look at how cute these are. Little Christmas trees, bells, little gingerbread men and stars, and again, $3 a piece, not bad. I was looking for the small can of biscuits. They didn't have any, so I was gonna buy two small cans, so I substituted one jumbo biscuit can. This is for a recipe. I wanted some more Frito scoops for his French onion dip, and again, like I shared in my last grocery haul at Walmart, this party size bag is a dollar more than the tiny bags. So pro tip, get the party size. It's a much better value. And then I grabbed a two pack of the stove top chicken stuffing. This is for Thanksgiving. I know, I know it's stove top, but it's Troy's favorite stuffing. And he asked specifically for this one, so I grabbed that. I did get this super cute necklace. It is gold. It's got little drop down diamonds. This is so cute, it was $4, so I had to pick that up. And I found this cute little Steve Madden sweater dress. $20. Steve Madden. It's long sleeved and it has this cute cut detailing and you guys know how much I love brown. Remember I said Troy was on a soup kick? <laughs> I picked up some soup. So I have a can of beef pot roast with country vegetables. We grabbed a New England clam chowder and a chicken and home style noodle. A big bag of yellow potatoes. This is for my homemade mashed potatoes for Thanksgiving. This is a new food find. This is from the brand Wisps. This is their cheese and pretzel bites. I thought these sounded really good. It's a mix of cheese and pretzels, and there's seven grams of protein, 140 calories per serving, and it's 15 bites. So I thought that was a pretty, sounded pretty good for the amount versus the protein. So I'm really excited to try those. These would also be so good on a salad. And then lastly from Walmart, I guess not lastly, but I did pick up a case of Coors Light for Troy, but I did grab some extra creamy whipped topping for Thanksgiving. So the first thing I picked up from Trader Joe's are these fall leaf tortilla chips. We had these for Halloween and my mother-in-law loved them. Absolutely loved them. I even sent some home with her. And I'm gonna make a corn hot dip for Thanksgiving, kind of as a veggie side. So I picked those up so that we could use them to dip into the corn dip. And then I did grab a few things for the holidays. I'm just going to put these away until Christmas. These are one of my favorite things from Trader Joe's. These are the dark chocolate covered peppermint creams. They're kind of like a mini York peppermint patty 
with crushed up candy canes. So good. I had to get this. How stinking cute is this? It's an intominal pie truffle. So they're little truffles shaped like pieces of pie. How fun are these? I think they're all different flavors. Yeah, there's four different flavors in here. So I'm going to set these out for Thanksgiving. Another one of my favorite holiday things at Trader Joe's is the peppermint mini marshmallows. So since I've been obsessed with protein pudding, I actually put marshmallows in there a lot for some texture. And so I'm thinking about all the recipes I can make using the peppermint one. I also picked up this for Thanksgiving. I'm going to set this out so we can snack on it while we're waiting for dinner. This is the nuts about rosemary mix. So basically it's a nut mix that has rosemary flavor. It has all the different mixed nuts in it. It sounds absolutely delicious and it'll be a good way to get in some protein and healthy fat. And then I'm going to set these out too for Thanksgiving. I don't think I mentioned, but my friend Michelle's coming in from Australia to spend Thanksgiving with us. So she'll be here as well as my in-laws. So I want to have some fun stuff on hand and I know Troy will eat these too. So these are the apple flavored caramel. So they feel like little individual caramels. It says handmade caramels with apple cider. They are three pieces for 90 calories. So not bad at all. I grabbed cheese. This is my favorite cheese from Trader Joe's. <clears throat> I have the light mozzarella cheese and the light shredded cheese. I was out of my everything but the bagel seasoning, which is a staple for me for avocado toast. I also really like this on my eggs. I'm also out of minced garlic, so I picked up the little jar. This is really good quality minced garlic, and I want to say it's $1.99. Here's another something I've seen at Trader Joe's and never bought, and I'm really excited to try it. This is the Hearts of Palm pasta. One serving is only 20 calories. You can have the whole box for 60 calories. It has three grams of protein, so it's not a super high protein pasta, but this would be zero points on WW because it is just hearts of palm. There's nothing added to it, so I'm really excited to try that out. I also grabbed some more organic, old-fashioned oats. I'm just about out of rolled oats, and I've been making a lot of recipes using oatmeal. I'm better than leftovers dog treats for my dogs. These are really fun. They have have like dinner leftover flavors in them and they're a little soft pellet so it's perfect for them. I also grabbed some more soy sauce because we were completely out and this reduced sodium from Trader Joe's is one of my favorites. I also grabbed some blue cheese stuffed olives. We love these. They just sounded really good and again can be something I can set out for Thanksgiving. You guys know I love mint anything and I saw that Trader Joe's has this little pack of chapsticks so it's three spearmint chapstick. So I definitely wanted to try that out. Like I said, I love mint anything. And actually it even has SPF 15 in it. And it was $2.29 for three of them. I picked up one yogurt because it's eggnog flavored. This is a whole milk yogurt. So it's going to be a little bit more calories and points, but I love eggnog. And I thought that you could top this with some granola and it would be a perfect treat. And you're going to get in some protein as well. I always buy the Trader Joe's little tin candles, but they don't always have the best scent throw. And I saw that they had these really big candles. Candles. This is the Red Fruits and Forest, and they're wood wick. So they have the wick that crackles like wood. So I had to grab it. It was $10. It smelt amazing. They said that these sell out really quickly. So if you're interested, definitely grab one. Little mini French baguettes. These are one of our favorite little frozen breadsticks. They're literally a breadstick. They call them a mini French baguette, but they are the same thing as a breadstick. I thought we could have these for Thanksgiving or as a side with dinner. I also grabbed some candy cane chocolate covered almonds. I got these last year and these are so good. I love these. And again, another sweet thing that I'll put out for the holidays. I grabbed some frozen, frozen mashed potatoes because we know I love my chicken mashed potato gravy bowl. And these ones at Trader Joe's are good. They're real, they're little pellets and all you do is is warm them up. So super, super easy to make. This is a new food find for me. These sounded really good. And actually the guy that checked me out at Trader Joe's said this is one of his favorite things. So these are the shrimp burgers. Doesn't that sound so good? They're only 90 calories a piece and they have 13 grams of protein. So I can throw these out on my barbecue, fry them up, throw them in my air fryer. I just thought that they looked really good. So I'm excited to try those out. I also grabbed these chicken meatballs. This is another new thing that I've never purchased from Trader Joe's. You get four meatballs for 150 calories and 16 grams of protein. They had nice clean ingredients and again, a super easy lunch or dinner. I grabbed a cheese party tray for Troy for his meat, cheese and crackers or just cheese and crackers. This is only $5.99, which is a really good deal. Another thing new to me is the sweet Italian chicken sausage. I was looking for turkey sausage, like ground turkey sausage. I couldn't find it anywhere. So what I'm gonna do is take the casing off of these and use the sausage for a recipe. So 
implement things where I have to implement things, but I'm really excited to try these out. And then I grabbed some mini beef tacos. I thought this would make a super quick dinner for us. We could pair it with some avocado, some salsa, sour cream, and we can just throw these into our air fryer. You actually get four tacos for 270 calories. So they're pretty high in calories, pretty high in points, but I thought that it would be a fun, easy dinner. And then I got a lot of advent calendars because I love advent calendars. So this one is the 24 days of chocolate. This is my favorite little advent calendar. I think these are a dollar or $1.99 at Trader Joe's. And then I grabbed two of the advent calendars for dogs. I had picked up that big dog advent calendar from Costco for Palmer. So this one is for Lola and Diesel. And I every year buy the 12 days of beauty. I think I'll wait and unbox this with you guys in a video. So let me know down in the comments if you want to see me unbox the 12 days of beauty. It's always really, really good and it's $19.99. Oh, and for reference, the dog calendar are only $6.99. So that is my massive haul. That was a big haul. We got a lot of good stuff. I am ready for Thanksgiving. I'm getting ready for the holidays and I stocked up on all of our staples as well. So let's go ahead and jump into what's for dinner and what you'll see Monday for meal prep. So here's what is on my menu for the week. So today's Saturday, we're actually going out for dinner. Sunday, we're gonna do leftovers because we're gonna have a lot, because we'll have a lot of leftovers for from Thanksgiving. Monday, I'm gonna make a sweet potato shepherd's pie. I'm super excited for this. You will be seeing this in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day, so stay tuned for that. Tuesday's a leftover night. Wednesday, we're gonna make chicken tacos. Thursday is Thanksgiving. I cannot even believe it. So obviously Friday will be another leftover night. And here's what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. So for breakfast, I'm making a biscuit and gravy casserole. This is a totally different spin on a normal biscuits and gravy. So I'm really happy to be making that. For lunch, I'm doing buffalo chicken pasta. This is a slow cooker recipe. So perfect for busy, busy weeknights and weekends. And then dessert, I mean, in honor of Thanksgiving, we're doing pumpkin bars with frosting. So definitely stay tuned for Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for this week's massive, massive grocery haul. We had a lot of groceries. I mean, that was a lot. We are stocked up. We're ready for Thanksgiving. We're getting ready for the holidays. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell's turned on so you never miss a grocery haul or any other video. Again, in the description box, you'll find nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And of course, don't forget, come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Saturday, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.